everybody. This is Terry Nass. I want to welcome you, welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. I just pray God's blessings over your life today. And in Jesus' name, something good is going to happen to you. I just, uh, we've been talking about the uh, five structures of authority. Let me just say this real quick. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe. Go to godsarmorbear.com. You need our material. If you, if uh, you are interested in our mentoring program, I believe it'll bless you in Jesus name. I'm talking about the five structures of authority that we all have to submit to. Number one is God and his word. Number two is government. And then number three in our life is church government. I want you to listen to this scripture, Hebrews 13, 17. Obey those who rule over you and be submissive. For they watch for your souls as those who must give account. Let them do it with joy and not with grief, for this is unprofitable for you. Obey those who have the rule over you. Obey and listen to this. The Bible says that we are to obey and submit here and and be submissive. Because the authority that God has set over your life, it can be an apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, or teacher, whatever that government, especially over your life in the local church, you have pastors and you have elders and you are to flow with those elders and you are to submit and you're to respect those elders. Now, the Bible is very clear and we do this with joy and we don't do it with grief because this is unprofitable to us. And so when we are in situations where, you know, you may disagree or you may not understand what that authority is speaking or asking you to do, but we obey and we submit. Now, again, as long as they're not asking you to do something that violates the scriptures, anything, anybody who asks us to do something that violates scriptures now, hey, we have a higher authority. We don't submit to that. But most of the time, it's usually just the, <laughs> the personality of the pastor or the personality of the leader and the way that they do things. You know, I heard someone say this and I thought, man, this is so true that really in the local church, it's what we call that's just the way we do it around here. And, you know, you go into Walmart <laughs> and you go into Target, you're, <laughs> excuse me, you're going to find out that's the way they do things. They do it different. They're not going to do the same thing, the way they handle their stocks, the way, uh, way they handle customers. It's going to, it's going to be different. And, and you go into different companies. Why? Because that's the model that they set up. So whatever the model is that they set up, we have to submit and we, we flow with because the Bible is very clear. And in the same thing in the local church. We submit, you know, I can remember, gosh, when I started in 1979 and I worked to 2002, 23 years. And I know that under the pastor that I worked under that we were to wear a tie. We had to wear a tie every time we came to the church. And, you know, I'm not, I've never been crazy about wearing a tie. Yeah, I can do it. But, you know, I'd assume not to wear one, but you know, that's what was expected. And so I didn't rebel against it. I wore a tie. It's no big deal. And that's what we have to do when we see different things. You know, whenever I teach and I go into different places, what I do, I'll find out, you know, what, what is the protocol? And whatever that protocol is, that's what I'm going to submit to. And I'm going to flow. Remember, I was uh, in a church and and it was very interesting because, you know, I kind of have a uh, I have a uh, Pentecostal or charismatic background. And so they they asked me, they said, now, we love you, but, you know, we when you're teaching, can you stay within the topic of the armor bear? And I kind of laughed. I said, I know where you're coming from. I said, don't sweat it. I said, good night. I'm there to do an armor bear conference. You didn't ask me to do a, a seminar on the Holy Spirit. So, and baptism of the Holy Spirit. I said, you don't have to worry about that. And they said, well, we thought that's what you'd say. And then after I did the conference, got out to, uh, got out with the pastors that night. They asked me to go to a dinner 
Well, after, I mean, after we finished eating, the pastor said, now anybody have any questions? And the very first question had something to do with my background. And so we laughed. I had a great time with them. And then when we got finished, they just said to me, can, can you come back next year? And I said, well, absolutely. And I did and had an incredible conference. And you, you have to understand is that I can't have an attitude. Well, bless God. God is the one who controls my life. Well, is that a fact? The Bible says to obey those who have the rule over you. So if you're going to say God is the one who controls your life, I submit to God. Okay. Then you got to submit to his word. If you don't submit to, uh, to the, the word, you're not submitting to God. And I had an individual, honestly, it wasn't too many, uh, too many months ago that we asked him to do something and me and another elder asked him to do something that was really simple. And I mean, all of a sudden, uh, gosh, he, he just said, well, uh, okay, at first, and then he comes back two weeks later and says, well, the Lord told me not to do that. And I just stopped and I said, no, he didn't. God didn't tell you not to do that. He goes, he didn't know what to do. And I I said, listen to the scripture, obey those who have the rule over you and be submissive for they watch for your souls. Now that's what the Holy Spirit is saying. The Holy Spirit is telling you, this is what you're going to do. This is what you need to do. We weren't asking him to violate the scriptures. Honestly, we were asking him to go some, uh, uh, to an individual and just say, Hey, please forgive me. Whether you're right or wrong, uh, you, you've got to establish peace in this relationship. And so he just said to us, well, I can't do that. And I said, well, it's fine. Uh, you're welcome to come to church here, but you can forget about being in any level of leadership. You will not serve in any level of leadership. And so of course they, he, he left, he never came back, but here's the point. You don't get to say, well, God told me not to do that. Oh, really? No. To submit to the word, submit to God, you submit to the word. And I want you to remember that. Always take that. Look at the Bible, submit to it. And it's always for your good. God wants grace and peace. And it's always a test of your character. It's always a test of what's in you. So uh, if we're going to flow with him, we're going to flow with authority. God bless you. I speak the blessings of heaven over your life. And don't forget something good is going to happen to you today.